ready to process our transaction. We're just here to buy some shotgun ammo. He has eight. <laughs> he yeah. has eight 12 gauge rounds. <laughs> Wow, you've got so many caps, you could actually buy some of the really awesome weaponry that you never get a chance to use. You know, I probably could, actually, now that you mention it. I could get the Sleepy Time, which is a 10 millimeter suppressed submachine gun. Tantalizing. I could get, ooh, this very rare single shotgun. Oh, choke me until I lose consciousness. <laughs> hey, Mike. Yes? Guess what I spent all of our money on? Ooh, I can't wait to see. This thing. Let's not point this at me, shall we? No, let's point it directly at you. Uh, we have the BK, whatever that oh, is. L-Y? The timed? That's enough. Well, okay. TT? <laughs> Maybe they should give the full name on these. They would abbreviate the ammo types for a nuke launcher. Yeah, I mean, I got the shield on here, which totally is going to protect me from everything. <laughs> hey, you think I can catch one of these when I fire it? <laughs> Come on! That's not saving the ammunition! All right! I'm not even gonna bother running. It's too late for us all. E what? What happened? We're both alive somehow. Is this hell? Well, I'm glad we could waste all of the money on nukes that will just piss away immediately. You wasted that one too. Oh, it's not wasting if I'm having fun! Why don't you hand that weapon to me since I might be a little more judicial? With its I'm, I'm sorry, are you saying that I don't have good trigger discipline and I use weapons in a bad manner? I uh, just that one. Just this one? Y yeah. You can have it when you pry from my cold dead fingers. So two seconds from now when you fire that point blank and kill us both? So... You bastard. <laughs> <laughs> we have done a bunch of quests for Mercury and Joshua's helped us out. Maybe we should return the favor for Joshua. Yeah, that's probably a good idea. Let's help Joshua out. His quest was to go to the tops and talk to Rocco. Because Rocco gave him the loan and then robbed him. So he claims. Let's go get some more information. I hate going to the strip. I love going to the strip. Except when we get strip searched. Which is not nearly enough. Oh, the tops is just as great as I remember. And that guy's still waiting for a high five, but we left him hanging. Nelson's back in our hands. I hope we can defend oh, it gross. this time. Ew. <laughs> you just don't understand manners, okay? It's poor manners to pick your nose in public. I wonder what could possibly be worse manners. Probably setting off a small nuclear device in the middle of it. That's a pretty good screenshot. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, save that. Dirty coward! Dirty coward. You know, Mike, I, I think I may have a- Oh, where'd you go? Uh, I'm stuck! I'm stuck in time! I've rewound it so hard, my chronometer is broken! Son of a bitch! Alright, we're gonna have to fix your chronometer again. Hang on, give me just one second. Oh! I'm back! Oh, thank God! H how did you fix me, Mercury? It's amazing! Mercury didn't do it, it was me! Don't you give him credit! You are truly a marvel of scientific engineering! You were really asking for a shotgun <laughs> shell to the face right now. <laughs> Considering that I broke the coronosphere multiple times here, I'm just gonna give you the fat man, and if I need to use it, I will ask for permission from chain of command first. <laughs> Judicial use. I promise not to use it indiscreetly. Okay. <laughs> I'm giving you Esther, but I'm keeping all of the ammo for it. Oh. We have a two-factor authentication system. Both of us have to agree <laughs> before we can use it. Dang it. Hey, hey, fellow. Welcome to the Tops Hotel and Casino. Why, yes, the back of Joshua's head. Here, hold my weapons. Yes, take all mine, too. Smooth and easy, just the way I like it. Don't worry, they'll be as safe as kittens till you're ready to leave. Oh, and a friendly word of advice. If you happen to stumble across any weapons during your stay here, well, just don't wear them openly. You dig? Okay. Now that we got that little business out of the way, what can I do to make your tops experience the tops? Uh, that's it. Joshua, clean the back of your ears. They're filthy. Have a good time, baby. All right, Mike, did you turn over all your weapons to- Oh my god! Yes, all of my weapons are gone! That's- that is not okay- Where did you even find it? Where did you find the ammo for that? I that, kept all the ammo. This is just a decorative toy! A prop for the play I'm putting on! You know how we have that two-factor authentication system? Yeah... You didn't think that in the last 
hundred episodes or so. Might have picked up one of these on my own. No, I honestly didn't. Didn't even cross your mind. Nope. Hey, there's Benny over there. Why don't you go shoot a couple of those at him? Oh, Benny's done nothing to offend me. I think he shot he you. He shot in the... me in the head, Mike. Yeah, he's done nothing to offend me. Give me that goddamn rocket launcher. <laughs> Yo, a little help here. <laughs> it didn't kill him. He's still in one piece. How is that possible? <laughs> Looks like Benny gets to live another day. It's that tweet suit he's wearing. It's that stupid tweet suit. <laughs> Hello, which one of you handsome gentlemen is Rocco? Uh, this guy? It was the guy with the submachine gun. <laughs> hey, you're not allowed to wield weapons in here! So, back when I was a kid, people made fun of me for having a really puffy face. They called me asshole face, because my face is puckered up like a tight little booty hole. Oi, who are you? Joshua? You ready to pay your bill yet? We're here to talk to you about Joshua's loan. What can you tell us about it? I can tell you a lot about it. Like, he owes me a lot of money. And also, I want to know what he did with those espresso machines. How many caps did you loan him? Out of sheer curiosity. About 2,000 caps. I'm saying about because it was more like 50,000 caps plus 425 caps interest. Zach, if we hadn't spent that money on that stupid nuke launcher, we might actually be able to pay off Joshua's Don't debt. Don't you call Esther stupid. She's a beautiful girl. Wouldn't you have liked to pay Joshua's debt for him? Why would I want to pay Joshua's debt for him? I'd rather eat six Whoppers from Burger King and crap my brains out for the next three days. By the way, if they ever do it again, do not get the black burgers from Burger King. Did they have burgers that were dyed? Yeah, they did like Halloween dyed? where the buns were black. Oh, okay. Yeah, it turns your poop green. <laughs> so? It's worth it for having cool looking burgers. It's super not worth it. Oh god, it was horrible. I'm pretty sure I understand the deal. You give him a loan, he pays you back after he forges a bunch of fake caps. Why don't you elaborate on that? He asked us for caps to acquire some pre-war machinery. An espresso machine from a new Coca-Cola factory. Then suddenly, he tells us the machines are disappeared. By espresso machine, do you mean cap presser? So he gave us some time to get us the caps of the machinery back. Is after all, hey, I'm an incredibly patient man. <laughs> so I want to know where my espresso machine is. Where's my espresso machine? Do you know why he can't pay you? Because he's a big fucking stitchy. He's out of Vegas, Costco. Either way, he gives us some money, or we give him a gold crack on the head. Just well, a little tappy tap. Just a little tap. <laughs> I take my wood baton, and I go, tap, 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 on the top of the head. Is there any way we could work out some kind of deal? Well, I'm not sure why he drag you into this. It's real simple. He pays, we don't bury him. He doesn't pay, we bury him. He suspects that you might be involved in a robbery. We're not going to accuse you of robbery. No, we would never do that. But he, he's he got this mistaken belief that you robbed the machine from him. Are you serious? Look, I'm an honest place, man. I work long, hard hours, giving people long, hard loads on Buddy's behalf. I don't know anything about robbery. <laughs> Rocco, you're up to something, I can tell. You got the face of a dishonest man. No, I'm not up to anything. Damn it! His argument was so convincing! I can't follow up on that. I can appreciate that, Rocco. I really can. You see, myself, I'm a businessman. We can get you the money. All I need is to know what you know. Because I am in the intelligence business. Just now, I've decided. I'm in the intelligence business. <laughs> We've got our hands in a lot of pots. I have my fingers in many sinister soups. <laughs> we can get you the money. All I need is to know... What you know. You know what? You're right. You're not responsible where I received an invite where a few members of society would meet up by Joshua's contract. I didn't go. Might be here with time at all. It's related. So here, take the note. And by the way, I didn't give this to you. Let's read this note that Rocco just handed to us. Dear Top's finance team, we urge everyone to get to the meeting room right now. We have info on a wanderer who has located some cap pressing equipment which would be priceless to possess. Rocco, this includes you. Don't pass out again or you will lose your next three commissions. Henry, speak with Chase at the old abandoned hideout near Nipton. Watch out for legionaries as they have taken over Nipton itself and a sinner like you is bound to get snatched. Location attached to this message. With speed, Danny. Well, hey, like, while you guys are here, uh, you think you could, like, fix the timing on the submachine gun? It's kind of off. Sometimes the fire's on a battery, they explode like little tiny frag grenades, peppering my face with brass. I don't know anything about submachine guns. Zach might know something about uh, that, I don't know. Let me take a look at it. Hang on. Here. Stop moving around. I gotta get a good look at it. Oh, this is a nice view. 
Well, there's a problem. You're fire. You're using an open bolt submachine gun with a bolt forward. You have to either have the bolt locked back or turn the safety on. You have to turn the safety on? Yeah, turn the safety on on your open bolt. Anyway, whatever. You know what? You'll figure it out. Let's go. It, turning the safety on means you can't fire it then. I don't have time to explain the intricacies of managing your open bolt submachine gun right now in front of Rocco. He's a very busy man. Well, this show sucks. Ah, oh, yes, the everybody stand around show. My favorite. <laughs> ba -dum, ba -dum, bum, bum. Well, we all stand around, we all stand around, that's all what we're doing. That's all we do, we just stand around, we don't never move anywhere. We just stand up here, we don't stand over there, we just stand right here all day. And that's the end of our song. Needs a little work, you guys practice, we'll come back, and hopefully you'll be able to put on a good show. I doubt it! Mike, what's your favorite Pokemon? <laughs> Charizard. Oh, I was gonna say, uh, Talonflame. Talonflame's mine. Oh, what were we gonna guess for me? Oh, for you? Mm, no, Charizard makes sense. <laughs> I was gonna say either Charizard or, um, Arcanine. I also like the Fire Lion. Fire Lion's kinda cool. No, I like Talonflame and Gogoat. This is the hideout. Hey, who the hell are you? Are you with Henry? Yeah, good man, chap. Let's have some tea talk. You have to be the worst actor. I think I'm doing a world two favors here. <laughs> you wouldn't go hostile hey. on a couple of blokes like ourselves. Oh yeah, no! You wouldn't go hostile against a man with four or five cent of government now, would you? Oh, it's a. <laughs> oh, that was Joshua. <laughs> I just put a 4570 government around through Joshua's chest. Hope you don't mind, Joshua. What's no worries, it's just a little bit of dum dum bullet. Pour some whiskey on it, you'll be fine. I found it, I found the cappuccino machine. No, Mike, that's a small block Chevy engine. Does it make cappuccinos? That's a small block V6. Why is a small block V6 in a game where everything is atomic powered? <laughs> uh, General Trace had a note. Thing. Would you like me to read it? I would. General Trace. Following our present meeting at the dumps, I would like to confirm that cap price proceeds are now in safe hands and proven to be your tragic. We have hidden your payment within a container buried beneath the dirt just behind the Novak fueling station's garage because everything ends up in Novak. Kind regards, Henry Withenshaw. Yes, if you see that Joshua Wanker or his new friends, let them know we said hello. Politely, of course. Bloody hell. I was expecting that. Did you find anything? Didn't you hear me read this note aloud? In a really bad accent? <laughs> yeah. Who is Henry? <sighs> I'm afraid to tell you this, but I think this is the same Henry I came here from England with. He wants me dead. Why, dare I ask? This is gonna be hard. He's an old friend. But still, he wants me dead. Wow, that's... No, he's behind this. He betrayed me this time around, and now he wants me dead. You can get some. Let's go. What an exciting and in-depth backstory. Stop being such a downer. <laughs> You're always so mean. I'm so dour. Behind the gas station. Behind the gas station. Look, a random person. Just hiding back here. Hello. Hey, you're the bastard who is helping Joshua. Mighty fine job. Has anyone ever told you that you got a face that looks kind of like a butt? Don't worry, no one will see it underground. I don't, I don't have to take this. <laughs> Joke's on you. It's just one of me, and there's four of you. You got no chance. Arr! Thank God he's got a note on his body, because he was not going to give us that information. Dearest Henry, once you've dealt with Chase, come back to the base. Oh, it rhymes. We need to discuss your rank and potentially class you as one of our higher members. <laughs> if Chase has already been dealt with by Joshua, you will know as Joshua will approach you before Chase. Please take him down as he appears to be determined to steal our cap presses. <laughs> How charmingly droll. We cannot continue with him alive. We need no witnesses or witch hunters against our financial sector, and ultimately us. The main door has been sealed for security reasons. Please use the back door hatch. <laughs> you can use my back door hatch if you know what I mean. At the following coordinates. <laughs> Kindest regards, David C. <laughs> Are we gonna give him a proper burial? Yeah, that was the proper burial. Yeah, no one could see him. Out of sight, out of mind. Oh, here we'll uh, we'll we'll desiccate his corpse. We'll incinerate the body as well. Oh, all, right. all right, Joshua. That takes care of the cremation. <laughs> Damn it, David did this. He stole the cat machines for his secret society of MPs. I know it. Now it makes sense why the tops was involved. 
I don't exactly understand, Joshua. I'm not following you. Don't worry, I'll explain what's happening. In England, the Parliament fell apart after the war. Oh, the Parliament was your government? When I arrived, I learned they were planning on re-establishing in the US and integrating themselves with the NCR or whoever owns the wastes. Hmm. How I learned that is worth explaining another time. Sounds to me like the Parliament might be the British Enclave. Entirely possible. I'm drawing a couple of parallels here. We need those cap pressing machines to pay off my debt and they are rightfully mine. Yeah, you stole them fair and square! I want nothing to do with these bastards, so words of bullets should work here. I just can't believe you're going to look at with their coordinates. Yeah, it's a good thing these guys keep notes on them. Prepare yourself. We're going to need a lot of ammo, meds, you name it. Let's go. And the coordinates are at... Uh, by this ant mound. Of course, the prime location for an evil lair. Why are there Thompson submachine guns on the cover of Milserp Review, but there's not any Thompson submachine guns in this game?